Oh, it's an absolutely cracking morning here behind me. You can see the sun's just coming up and this is a weekend I've been really looking forward to. So we're heading over west today and we're going to be doing uh, fishing, foraging, diving, camping, um, all sorts, just a proper outdoor adventure weekend. So um, we'll hopefully get some good footage and get you guys a good video. Um, yeah, I'm really looking forward to it. So we're going to go and jump in the van. We've got about a four hour drive to head over there today um, and we'll aim to be in the water by about midday. So uh, let's go and get on the road and we'll see you again shortly. So hopefully you can hear me okay. It's a bit noisy in the cab because I haven't got a bulkhead up here behind me. Another one of the projects I've decided to tackle is converting this van into a camper. I've done one before and it's great fun. So fancy giving another one a go. So anyway, this may not have been my best idea, but I haven't bought any food with me for this weekend. I say I haven't bought any. I've bought some cream and some pasta. So if all goes well, we'll be having a really nice seafood cooker. Uh, if it doesn't go so well, I'm just going to be eating cream and pasta for the next 12 to 24 hours. So yeah, relying completely on my own foraging abilities for this weekend. Um, yeah, might not be a good idea, but adds a bit, bit of excitement to the weekend. So why not give it a go? So it's just a little bit of information for any of you out there who might be interested in the diving or free diving side of things. Um, so it's really important that you don't ever go diving if you have any sort of blockages in either your nose or your ears. Um, you need to be able to equalise the pressure as you drop down through uh, the water column. If you don't manage to equalise that pressure then you can really do some damage to your ears. Um, the key part of that is to have your eustachian tubes which connects your inner to your outer ear um, clear and obviously when you get colds and things that's, that gets blocked up. Um, I inherently have quite small eustachian tubes so I have to be very very careful um, uh, when I go diving to make sure that everything is really clear. So what I tend to do as well which helps me is just take one of these. About an hour before I go diving they're just a congestion relief tablet and that just helps everything to just open up a little bit more. Um, as I say it's just an inherent thing for me that they are naturally quite small. Um, a lot of you out there might not have that problem, but that's just what I do, which helps. Um, there's a few other little tricks and tips you can do, like chewing gum or, um, you know, just like having a sweet or something like that. Just something to sort of work those jaw muscles a bit before you go diving. So anyway, I won't uh, waffle on anymore. Uh, the next clip will be when we're in the water. I know I said I would be in the water when I next started filming, but this is just amazing. We have come and arrived at the perfect conditions. It's low water at the moment, but it's a beautiful day. There's not a breath of wind anywhere. We've got Tom and Jacob up in front of me. And we're just making our way down to the first little lay-by to stop at the dive spot, but it looks incredible out there.
so I hope you've enjoyed seeing some of those scallop catches so far. We saw that brown crab as well, but uh, it was a bit too small to take, so we left that one alone. Uh, anyway, we've got a few more scallop catches coming, coming up, and then we'll get into our caption cook at the end. So come on, let's dive back in, and we'll see what else we can find. So that's us just uh, at our accommodation for the evening. We've had an absolutely brilliant day in the water. It was perfect visibility, really good weather. And we saw um, lots of cool stuff underwater and we got ourselves a load of scallops, which is really good. So I'm gonna go and cook those up with a bit of pasta and uh, make a nice scallop carbonara now. So I'm looking forward to that. Very hungry after five or six hours of diving, but it's absolutely beautiful scenery here. Look at it behind me and uh, a lovely evening as well so yeah really looking forward to a nice bit of food and a good rest but hopefully we get some good footage for you from uh, from the day's diving um, I obviously didn't film all of the scallops because um, you know it's sort of the same thing over and over again and uh, didn't want it to get too boring but yeah it was uh, it was a re really good day in the water so it was uh, yeah it was great fun so anyway let's um, get into this cabin and uh, get get the fire all lit up and we'll get cooking All right, so first thing we've got to do is uh, we've just got to batoon up some of uh, that wood so we can get a bit of kindling. So we'll just split that up now quickly. Hopefully this will work. Right, I wasn't going to bore you sitting there smashing all of this to pieces, but there we go, we've got our... Uh, um, kindling now to get the fire started. We've got a little of our chisel things there to get going so we're just going to try and use our uh, fire stick now to light those. There we go, well that's the fire going now, so we'll just let that uh, kindling get going and then we'll put some coals around there. And then once those coals have burnt down to some nice embers, then we can get our scallops on there. Yum. So here we've got some of our lovely scallops, so we're just going to open these up and then get them ready for the fire. So what you want to do to do this is in this little slit here, you just push the knife straight to the back straight to the other side and then just slide it forwards and you open them up that bit we do away with and what you can do hopefully if this works is you just take this bit off at the back here and then you should be able to just pull all of this off in one go there we go Put that little bit of water away there you go one lovely scallop. 
So all of those other bits, the frills and the row, um, I'm going to keep that aside and I'm going to take that down to the beach with me tomorrow and uh, put that back in the water along with the rest of the shells. And uh, then that way um, the other little fish and crabs can feed off them. So I'm going to carry on and get these few done and then we'll show you the next bit of the prep. All right, so here's all of our scallops ready. So now all we're going to do is just get some of our butter, chop it into chunks, pop it in there, bit of black pepper over the top, and then a little bit of garlic salt, and then they'll be going over onto those hot coals. There we go, that's the scallops all ready, butter, garlic salt and pepper. And then all we're going to do is take them over here to the fire and we're just going to move these coals around and we're just going to rest them in the shells like that on the fire and they will cook away nicely. So let's go and get the other ones on there. So here are our scallops on the fire and you can hear them sizzling away already, that butter is starting to melt. Go and get some water on the boil for the pasta. The scallops are doing really well and uh, one way to tell when these are done is uh, they should just naturally like that come away from their shell. So uh, yeah once um, once they're doing that let's see that one's ready to go. This one still a little bit stuck over here and this one as well. So what I'm going to do is take these two off um, and then or I think this one as well. Yeah this one's done. So yeah so these three I'm going to take off now and then these two I'm just going to move to this hotter part of the fire and we're going to get our grill on and then we're going to get our pasta on there. Oh, there's a lovely bit of our scallop. Mm. Oh, that is so good. That garlic salt worked perfectly on here. Mm. Yum. Right, so we've got our pasta cooked. We've got our scallops. Just pop them back in there to warm up. And then this is just a, a scrambled egg or just egg mixed up and we're just going to pour this bit of this in there like that and then we'll just mix it around and get that uh, pasta all coated up nicely mix that around there and i've left a bit of the pasta water aside just in case i need to loosen this off but i think hopefully that should just about be enough and then what i'll do is just put a little bit more pepper on there when i come to serve it up oh, look at that that is just Yum, and those scallops are just uh, warming back up now. Let's get this on a plate. Well, here we go. Here's our lovely scallop carbonara. I'm looking forward to tucking into this. So we've been in the water for about six hours or something today. So yeah, it was it was a long day. Hmm. That garlic butter which has come off those scallops is so good. Let's try a bit of one of these scallops and see what it's like. Oh. It's a shame you can't smell it because it really does smell good. Mm. Oh, that really is good. Yeah, that garlic salt is perfect on this. Anyway, I'm going to go and rest, enjoy the rest of this one. So I'm going to turn the video off now and go and sit down and uh, yeah, tuck into this. So there we go. Hope you enjoyed coming along to that video. Uh, it was su such a great weekend away on the West Coast. We had perfect weather, perfect visibility. Uh, we caught ourselves some really tasty seafood to do a cook-up with, so what more could you ask for? Uh, a couple of friends came along this weekend, so Tom and Jacob. Um, Tom actually has a YouTube channel as well, does the same sort of stuff as me, loads of uh, stuff on and around the sea. So I'll pop a link to his channel in the description, so go check that out. Um, and that's it really, same old stuff. If you could give us a like and thumbs up and subscribe, and uh, we'll be back with another video um, as soon as we can. So that's it then, bye for now.